Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today I'm going to go over the words kilowatts and kilowatt hours. A lot of our customers get these terms mixed up and I want to help clarify what their meaning is and how they are different. But before I get into it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking that button down below and hit that little bell icon too. That way you receive notifications on future videos just like this one. And if you're someone that lives in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We have some great promotions going on that you're really not gonna wanna miss out on. So check out that link in the description below. So I wanna start with kilowatts. Now kilowatts is the rating of all the solar panels together. Now you might see a rating of KW, that is the short for kilowatts, and your, your bid should show you that rating of all the DC solar panels connected together. So for this example, I'm using QCell's 350 watt modules, and they're each 350 watts as I've written in here. If you add 10 panels together, you have a 3.5 kilowatt solar system. If you have more panels, the rating's gonna increase. Now this has nothing to do right now with the amount of energy the system will produce. We have to actually do some math to figure out your kilowatt hours. Now, this is, these are the terms people get really mixed up often when we're asking them about the, how much power they consume from the utility company and they give us a kilowatt rating or they give us a kilowatt hours. Because if you say you need a six kilowatt system, but really you need to produce 6,000 kilowatt hours, that's two completely different systems here. That you, you don't need a six kilowatt system to produce 6,000 kilowatt hours. So kilowatt hours is the measurement of energy consumed or produced. Now to figure out how much a solar panel will produce, there's a lot of variables. On our bids, we only really give you the annual production and I'm gonna explain that a little later with this chart. But for right now, I'm going to break down with some very simple math, because there's a lot of variables, on how much power a solar panel one would produce for you per day. So we take 350 watts, because that's the rating of the solar panel. You're gonna multiply it by the amount of sunlight you get. Now every region's different. So your area, you might get less hours per day of sunlight. You might get more. This is my little son. For us in Southern California, we get five and a half hours on average. So if you take 350 times 5.5 hours, you're gonna get 1,925 watt hours. Now, this is the maximum the system can actually produce, but it's not a realistic number and you'll rarely see anybody give you a bid for the maximum the solar system can actually output because you have shading variances, you have seasonal variances. There's a lot of variances that go into how much you'll actually get out of a panel. So we're gonna divide it by 75%. We're gonna be a little conservative here. So uh, that will equal 1.444 kilowatt hours per day from one of these 350 watt panels. So if we multiply them by 10, because we have 10 of them, we'll have a 14.44 kilowatt hour per day solar system. So that's pretty reasonable for a three and a half kilowatt solar system. But we wanna know the annual production. So basically we're gonna take this daily and we're gonna multiply it by 365 days, which will give us 5,271 kilowatt hours per year on average. Now I say average because we're not looking at the different seasons. Depending on your orientation, your tilt, and some other variables, your solar production is going to change throughout the year. So maybe in January, you don't have that good of an orientation and tilt, so your solar system is only gonna produce per panel 10 kilowatt hours a day, or not per panel, but in total, 10 kilowatt hours per day. Now, as you get to the summer months, you have some great orientation and tilt there. Your system's gonna produce 22 kilowatt hours per day. Now we, get, we start to taper back down and then in the winter months, maybe you're only producing 12 kilowatt hours per day. But this cycle 
helps you reach this annual kilowatt hours. And that's what's important when you're deciding on the value of that solar system and if it's going to offset enough of your energy throughout the year. So for this example, if you were to consume per year 5,000 kilowatt hours, this solar system would offset 100% of your energy needs throughout the year. So you should, in theory, end up with a zero utility bill. Now obviously with the net energy metering program, things are a little different. It's not exactly dollar for dollar or kilowatt hour for kilowatt hour. But as long as this number is bigger than the amount of energy you consume, you should have a very, very low electric bill. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you found it valuable. And hopefully you now understand the difference between kilowatts and kilowatt hours. And if you're someone that lives in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We have some amazing promotions going on this year that you're not going to want to miss out on. And that includes systems that have battery backup. So check out that link in the description below. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel.